Over the years, public art has always been used to make a statement about the societies we live in and to pay homage to people and ideologies that have made certain nations great. You may have heard of the Statue of Liberty or of the Eiffel Tower or even of the Fearless Girl, but how many have you heard of from our list of the top 10 most amazing public art sculptures? Number 10, the Eland, South Africa. The Eland has always been a creature of great importance to the South African people, to the indigenous Khoisan people who believed that everything they possessed was a gift from the earth. The Eland is a symbol of power. Clive Vanderberg's sculpture is planted with evergreen plants as it explores the relationship we have with land and how we share it, a topic that is very politically charged in contemporary South Africa. Number nine, first generation, Singapore. The Singapore River has a long history of international trade, and it was here that merchants unloaded their vessels of rice, coffee, rubber, tin, herbs, and spices, and the site was where many of the first Chinese and Indian immigrants worked. The first generation sculpture features five boys about to jump into the river and serves as a reminder that the river has played an integral part to all Singaporeans, even those who were too young to conduct business on its banks. Number eight. Black Ghost, Lithuania. This statue of an eerie specter may give you a fright as you walk along the dock near the Memel Castle remains in Klapeda. Sculpted by Svajunas Jerkis and Sergis Plotnikovas, the statue emerges from the city's age-old folklore and serves as a reminder of the country's rich cultural history. Number seven, Man at Work, Slovakia. Kumul, the Watcher, or the Man at Work, is a statue located in Bratislava, Slovakia. In 1997, the city commissioned several statues and bright paint jobs in an attempt to revive the place after the political change. Kumul was commissioned from Victor Hulik and has lost his head more than twice due to inattentive drivers. Number six, Nelson Mandela, South Africa. If you aren't sure who Nelson Mandela is, you might want to crack open a history book. If you are familiar with Nelson Mandela, you may not know that his 27-year incarceration began at a spot in Howick, South Africa, where he was arrested in 1962. Until 2012, the spot was marked with a small brick marker, but today it features an incredible 50-pole forced perspective sculpture of the icon's face. The monument was created by artist Marco Cianfinelli with the help of architect Jeremy Rose. Number five. Breakthrough from your mold, United States of America. This 7,000 pound sculpture is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and was created by Zenos Fridakis, who sought to create a sculpture that people from all backgrounds could instantly recognize. Fridakis states that the sculpture is about the struggle for achievement of freedom through the creative process. The sculpture has received an overwhelming response across the globe with the help of the internet. Number four, Devart Kopen, Belgium. This humorous statue of a policeman being tripped by a man hiding in a sewer is located in Brussels and was created by Tom Franson. After being urged to create a statue that relates to Brussels' cultural heritage, Franson created a statue that pays homage to Herge, the famous Tintin cartoonist, as well as the Zwanzi humor he feels so typical of Brussels, with its mixture of surreality and absurdity that stems from the mixture of languages in the city. Number three, Les Voyageurs, France. Bruno Catalano's series of statues featuring realistic human workers with large parts of their bodies missing are a beautiful eye-catching addition to the Millier of Marseille. The statues seem to have very little support, giving them a surreal quality as the bronze appears to float. They leave room for much thought and imagination, as it is somewhat unclear what their story is. Number two, Kelpies, Scotland. These 30 meter high horse head sculptures in Falkirk stand next to a new extension to the Forth and Clyde Canal. The name alludes to the mythological creatures that each possess the strength of 10 horses and honor the heavy horse lineage of Scottish industry and economy. Number one, the monument of an anonymous passerby, Poland. Originally created by Polish artist Jerzy Kalina in 1977, the monument was installed at the intersection of Pilsudski and Swidnica at the invitation of the city of Roklaw. It is uncertain whether or not the initial monument was created to symbolize the people who had been imprisoned, went missing, or were sucked underground, 
during the period of the communists' rule. However, it has certainly come to symbolize this for many people. As usual, thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see more awesome top 10 clips. We come out with top 10 videos just for you every week. Be sure to like this clip and leave a comment. Then feel free to go ahead and check out one of our other top 10 videos that you see on the screen right now. You can also now follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and other social media platforms.